What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another news video. Now, I am covering news that came out like a week ago, but I haven't covered it yet, so I thought I would cover it now. Um, this is really, really cool news. We finally have a preview for the first Fazbear Frights graphic novel collection. This is insane. We have a, a lot of the Into the Pit pages, uh, funnily enough. So we're going to get straight into that. We're going to read through them, see what we think about the artwork and what the layout of this graphic novel collection will look like. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe for more FNAF news. And when the full book comes out, we are going to be covering the entire thing. We're going to be doing a nice read through of it or something. Let me know if you want me to do like a voice acting read through. I don't know, that, that might be fun. <laughs> uh, you know what, we can try it out now. Why not? So you open the book, there's a blank page. Uh, yeah, here's the credits, cool. So Into the Pit is by Didi Esmeralda. I actually have done a video where I, you know, I talk about all of these artists. They are all really cool people. Go and like follow them on social media and stuff. Um, but yeah, we have uh, blah, blah, blah. Into the Pit, here we go. I like this kind of page, uh, very nice layout. Also, I did notice this, there is a bunny here. I don't know if that's supposed to be like Spring Bonnie just because it's into the pit or if it's supposed to be, you know, the plush trap chaser from the front cover. But this is sick. I really like this. I think it's a really cool addition. Uh, it's better than just, you know, a blank page. Okay. So we have... Oh, God. Hello. Uh, are you... Ex oh, okay. Hang on. I actually have to do voices, don't I? Are you excited for the first day of summer vacation, Oswald? I guess. But no... Why is it like a young Sonic? I guess. But there's nothing to do with Ben gone. School's boring, but home's boring too. Well, when I was ten. And the rest of this town... Wait. Oh, and the rest of this town is dead. The, the, there used to be stuff to do here. The movie theatre, the game and card store, that ice cream shop with the amazing waffle cones. No argument there. But as I was saying, I remember when I was 10, I wasn't home in the summer until, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to zoom in because I can't really read it. No argument there, but as I was saying, I remember when I was 10, I wasn't home in the summer until I got called in for supper. I rode my bike and played ba baseball. Who am I supposed to play baseball with? My best friend moved away and all the other kids are going to camps or they have memberships at the pool or they're traveling. I'm sorry, that's, all kind of expensive, and without my old job at the mill, you know, if Ben were still here, it would be different. Even if we were just playing the same old video games, at least we'd make it fun. You know, this is really cool, because I didn't know if this was going to be any good, like, I don't, I didn't, I don't know how they are able to, like, shorten a full-length story into, like, a, a short comic book, but this looks sick, it looks really cool, and... I think they're doing it really well. I think the pacing is quite nice, you know? They're getting through a lot of information here, um, but it doesn't feel too fast. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this, this is so cool. Look, I know you're old enough to stay home by yourself, but I don't like the idea of you staying by yourself the whole day while your mum and I are at work. Hey, but you've got the library, right? I bet they've got some sci-fi books, like those weird robots you've been drawing lately. Or you could surf the net. Nobody says surf the net anymore, Dad. They do now, because I just said it. Anyway, after you spend your mornings at the library, when you get hungry, you can head over to Jeff's Pizza for a slice and a soda. I could pick you up, there, once my shift's over at three. We can do this every day. I have to go, to, I have to go into work. So you'll give me money for pizza? Son, we're bad off. But we're not so bad off, I can't spot you three fifty for a slice and a soda. Okay, it's hard to say no to a warm, gooey slice. Atta boy. Have fun. Stay out of trouble. This is great. Ah, oh, he's reading... Ah, oh, what was it? It's not Zandrelix. Zandrelix is something completely different. Uh, but he did, he did like to read, like, superhero comics. I do remember that in the story. I, I'm I'm excited for these because of like all the small details. Uh, we also have like a, an actual design for Oswald now, which is really cool. Uh, this guy, 
is really rocking that beard, honestly. She looks sick as hell. <laughs> uh, cool. Lunchtime. Jeff's Pizza. We have a we have an actual Jeff's Pizza here. That's so cool. People actually eating at Jeff's Pizza. Is that Jeff? There's no way that's Jeff. Um, okay, we have the Do Not Use Ball Pit as well. Oswald eating pizza. Sorry, stomach. That's all we'll get till we're home. Rumble. Me. Uh, <laughs> he's looking at the ball pit. Whoa, ball pit. Is that like the um, like the goo that it said? Also, this is very different to the front covers. Um, the 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 ball pit on the front cover, which has completely different colours to what it says in the book. But I like how this is accurate. Actually. It's not accurate because there's, there's yellow balls when it, there was only red, green, and blue balls in the book. Anyway. Kid. Ah, y yes, sir? I got a couple more cheese slices that didn't sell at lunch. You want them? On the house. I'd have to throw them out anyway. I'll get you some orange soda while I'm at it. Oh, okay. Sure. Thanks. Off work. We'll be out front at Jeff's in two minutes. This is very, this is a weird uh, angle. Not angle, it's just the dimensions aren't really great. <laughs> it still looks good, it still looks good. I'm not complaining. Um, maybe the summer might not be so bad after all. Later that evening. Oh, it's, it's Oswald's house. Who do you think is gonna win this one? Zandrelix or Mechazandrelix? You know I always root for Zendrelix. What? Zendrelix is the bad guy. The monster. This is great. This, oh, I love this. This is like Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla, except FNAF Endoskeleton. That looks so good. I love the little details. It's so good. He's meant to terrify you. Come on, Dad. You can see the zipper. It's some actor in a rubber suit. How scary could a guy in a suit be? Foreshadowing, I like it. Because they don't really, they don't really say that in the original story. They're not really like, how scary could a guy in a suit be? He he he. Like, it's not blatantly obvious until you really look at the details. Um, and, and yeah, honestly, that that's, it's great. I love this foreshadowing. Later. A pretty good day. I might not have Ben, and I don't have money, but I have monster movies, and the library, and lunchtime pizza slices. Will it keep me going with summer, though? I like the Bonnie. <laughs> Wait a second. Does he have... Does he have Freddy's merch? If he has Freddy's merch, that is an inconsistency. Because he does not know anything about the existence of Freddy's. I'm not sure if this is Freddy's merch, but if it is... <laughs> please, please let something interesting happen. You have no idea. The next day. The sixth grader has risen. Hi, Mum. How is work? Bleh. I hate having to work such long hours. But since your dad, you know... Listen. Adult life is always a fight between time and money, and now is my time with you. So I demand a morning hug. How is day one of summer break? <sighs> Wait. What? Oh, okay, he's actually answering. Sorry. Okay. Not the same without Ben, huh? I know it's a bummer, but hey, maybe a new friend will move to town. Why would anybody move here? I see your point. Do you want more bacon? You'd better grab it before your dad gets in here and vacuums it all up. Sure. Oh, look how sad he looks. The summer goes on. Gaming. Uh, getting fat. And on. Isn't there another book in this series? There is, but it has a 30 person wait list. You could just buy it from a bookstore. Getting fat again. More gaming. Uh, FNAF AR money, uh, and on, looking at a very, very well-cut pizza there. One night. <laughs> I like that. 
Zandrelix 2020 is finally out on streaming. Can we watch that? I don't know. There's no way it's as good as the original version. It seems like it's just a cheap knockoff of the Zandrelix movies that came out when I was a kid. So the best movies are always the ones that you watched when you were a kid. Not always, but in this case, yes. I'll take a puppet or a model over that CGI any day. It's so slick and fake. It's got no warmth, no texture. I thought you liked the old Zendralix. Just to make fun of. And it's getting boring, just like everything else. Okay, if you guys don't cut out the nerd argument, I'm picking and I promise it will be a romantic comedy. I'm just going to my room. Watch whatever you want. Aww. Drawing FNAF characters under the sun. Ben's like, hey. Hey back, how's your summer? This is actually, this is completely accurate to the story. They literally just took out the lines from the story, which I like. Hey back, how's your summer? Awesome, at Myrtle Beach for vacation. It's so cool. Arcades and mini golf everywhere. Jealous. Which, oops. Oh God, I'm sorry. Uh, it's so cool, arcade and mini golf everywhere. Jealous, which you were here. Me too. How's your summer? You're spelled incorrectly. I actually think it's like that in the book as well. That's, that's brilliant. Okay. Been going to the library a lot. Lunch at Jeff's Pizza. That's all. Pretty much. Yeah. I'm sorry. That pizza place is creepy. <laughs> Me after a bad dream. <laughs> Me trying to get to sleep after in the flesh. Okay. Let me just, hang on. All right. So, wait. So that old John Deere, well, she took my heart, and now that tractor, she refused to start. What's with that attitude, son? I can tell something's been bothering you, and it's, I know it's not just the country music. Oh, that was country. I'm tired of every day being exactly the same. Ben texted me yesterday. He's at Myrtle Beach having an awesome time. He wanted to know what I was doing, and I told him I was going to the library and Jeff's Pizza every day. And you know what he texted back? I'm sorry, that pizza place is creepy. Yeah, I'm sorry, Oz. Things are hard right now where money's concerned. I'm sorry it affects you. You're a, you're a kid. You shouldn't have to worry about money. I'm hoping they'll move me to full time in the store in the fall. That'll help out a lot. And if I get promoted to deli manager, I'll be doing another dollar fifty an hour. Ben's dad got a job that pays even better than the old mill job at the uh, the old job at the mill. Oh, and that's it. I was just getting into that. That's this is going to be really fun to record when the full book comes out, which I believe is is that in September, October. It's near the end of the year, so we still have a little bit of time. We'll have a Tales from the Pizzaplex book come out then. We might even have two Tales from the Pizzaplex co books come out before this. Um, so this is still very exciting, and I'm really liking the artwork. I'm liking where it's going. I'm liking the pacing. It's all really good. What do you guys think in the comments below? I, did you enjoy this preview? Uh, are you excited for the full book? Will you be getting the full book, and will you be listening to my story, like, my voice acting? Probably not after this preview, but, um... Yeah, I don't blame you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, a perfect 72 degrees. I'll see you next time.